It's been a month now since we came out to the West Coast. Our hearts yearning to live in rhythm with the soul-enriching sounds of the ocean for a while. There is something about the sea that entrances me so completely. And I could stare into the waves for hours, mesmerized, to the point where I feel like I've become one with them. All the noise of my own mind fades away, taken over by the constant roar of the ocean. The only sound in the entire world which, the louder it becomes, only makes me feel more at peace. I'm pretty sure one of my favorite moments in life that I get to relive every day is that first sip of coffee in the morning. Warm, rich, beautiful. Especially when I get to have it out here next to the ocean, just listening to the sound of the waves and the eagles calling on the trees. Life is pretty good. Oh no! <laughs> Life is good up until a fly lands in my coffee. Gosh, this guy's a tricky one to get out of. Oh no, no, I'm sorry little guy. Yeah. Do I still drink it? Do a little fly germs hurt anybody? I'm still gonna drink it. I hope you're all doing super well and are finding moments of beauty all around you and peace and relaxation so far during this lovely spring in the northern hemisphere. As you can see, I am still out here next to the ocean on the west coast of British Columbia here on Vancouver Island and I've been here with my partner Chris and Pepper for about a month now and I love it so much. It is the perfect getaway from the mountains right now, which we just heard yesterday, it's still blizzarding back where we are based out of Banff. And it's beautiful there, but I'm just so ready for spring and warmer weather. It's still pretty cold here too, actually. I'm wearing this heavy set sweater or jumper that one of my best friends, Shan, made for me. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, I love it so much. But yeah, we've been out here for a month now and it's just kind of hitting me that I think I want to make this a yearly tradition, maybe every April, come out to Vancouver Island for a month and just enjoy the milder weather. And there's something about the ocean, like really, there's something so peaceful about just sitting next to the water and listening to the waves coming in through through the chasms and cracks and crashing against the rocks 
there's something about it every time if I'm stuck inside working or something in like in the little cabin that we're staying in right now and if I start to feel frustrated with my workloads or, or I'm feeling stuck and then the moment I step outside and get onto the beach and just that that it's like a white noise of just the waves constantly but it's such a peaceful white noise and it instantly kind of new that instantly neutralizes everything that I'm feeling all the anxiety or stress or pressure and I just feel so much more peaceful as soon as I'm sitting out here next to the water I could totally live by the ocean I keep imagining myself just living out here <laughs> I think though the perfect uh, the perfect life balance for me in my perfect world if I could spend from about July through to January in the mountains so I get the height of summer hiking season and wildflowers and and then the fall hiking season when all the snow is melted but then you also get the fresh new snow in the mountains which I love and then the first part of true proper winter in the mountains up through January I love all of that but then from February onwards through like June basically I could I could leave the mountains you get tired of winter at that point and it's kind of shoulder season and hard to get far out into the back country so for that part of the year I would love to just spend next to the ocean in a place like this where the weather's milder my heart is honestly torn between the mountains and the ocean so yeah in my perfect world dividing the year into two parts like that would be amazing that being said I do feel very lucky that I get to live in that perfect kind of world for this month here one of our friends offered to stay in our place in the mountains and cover our rent for us so that was perfect to kind of neutralize our costs of spending some time out here and now I kind of just don't want to leave <laughs> it's way too beautiful I need a little more coffee <laughs> So good. I was just watching the trailhead to the beach here because I thought somebody was coming. I think I think the coast is clear. <laughs> I don't know if any of you can relate, but I feel so incredibly awkward if somebody sees me filming myself or taking pictures of myself, especially well whether it's crowds or even just one person it's I don't know it's hard for me to get in the zone and feel comfortable talking to the camera hard enough as it is right now when nobody's around so yay props to me for chatting to you all but if somebody comes onto the beach and sees me I would totally just take the camera and pretend like I'm filming the waves or bits of seaweed and nothing at all to do with my face <laughs> it's been that way for me for as long as I can remember when I started taking self-portraits um, like 15 years ago I remember there was one specific day I was doing this 365 project where I was taking one self-portrait every day for a year and it was towards the end of the project and it had snowed outside and I put on this white dress and I had these little uh, they were like Christmas decorations of birds Christmassy birds I don't know what kind of birds they were but they were festive and I thought it would be cool to pin one or a couple of them in my hair and kind of wrap some twigs and branches in my hair and then I went outside to the park and wore my white dress and I sat down in the snow and just pretended to be like a snow queen with these wintry nature birds nesting in my hair and yeah I was in my own little world and then all of a sudden somebody came down the path I thought I was in a quiet part a private part of the park <laughs> and somebody stumbled upon me and I instantly normally when that would happen I would just immediately grab the camera and pretend to be taking pictures of the flowers or snowflakes but there was no getting out of that one I was laying on the ground in my white dress with a bird nest in my hair <laughs> and, and this person saw me and I, I was just like oh hey there just doing my thing and the poor guy was he got out of there pretty quick I I don't know who was more uh, awkward and 
slightly horrified to stumble upon each other. Uh, but ever since then, and before then, I, I don't know, I just always feel really uncomfortable filming anywhere where somebody can see me or taking my self-portraits anywhere that someone can watch. <laughs> it's hard for me to get into my zone. So, yeah, there's my funny little story for the day. Speaking of people stumbling upon each other, <laughs> um, I just want to share this really sweet moment that happened a few days ago. Uh, right after I had shared my last video that I filmed along the coastline here. And that one was about creative ruts and learning how to be enough, um, how to accept myself. And when I shared that, it was no later than two hours later and maybe maybe 200 people max had seen the video by that point. I don't get a lot of views, but I noticed this comment uh, from this girl named Jen. Hi Jen, if you're watching this. And she just mentioned how much that video resonated with her and what it meant to her and, and that she was really happy to see I was filming on the coast where she calls home. And I just thought, oh, that's, that's really sweet. Thank you. Literally no later than two hours after I posted that, I was walking along the coast with my partner, Chris and Pepper, and I heard my name and turned around and there is this girl who introduced herself as Jen and said that she literally had just seen my video and had left that comment. And I was kind of blown away and just thought it was a really sweet and serendipitous moment that of all the maybe 200 people in the entire world to see that video that morning, one of those people was right where I was that day when I posted it and we randomly ran into each other at the exact same spot on the coast and I don't know it was so sweet and it just kind of, it honestly made my week it just made it feel like it was worth posting that video which I kind of wondered if I should or not but in that moment I was like okay I think I did something right here I shared what was on my heart it meant something to somebody I ran into this person who knows who else there might be out there who connects with what I share. You never know what what's going to affect those around you and what in turn will affect you as well. So thank you, Jen. That, that honestly meant a lot to me. Ah, there is a beautiful bald eagle flying by right now. I would grab the camera and show you all, but by the time I grab it off the tripod, it's going to be gone. It's already gone. That was beautiful. I love it here. Sadly, we only have three days left on the coastline here before we head back to the mainland and then back across BC to Banff. Back to the mountains and I am looking forward to hopefully real spring now in the mountains. I am really excited to get out for longer hikes and to see all the lakes out there begin to thaw and the ice to break apart and melt and those beautiful turquoise blue emerald colors to come back out in the, the lakes. But I'm really sad to leave this, <laughs> which I guess is a good problem. It is a good problem to have that I have these places to miss. So yeah, I'm gonna try to enjoy every last moment here with my coffee and just try to really soak it in. So with that being said, I am going to go and put the camera away so I can just enjoy being here. And I must say I'm proud of myself for having this little chat with you all. Um, I think it's getting a little easier for me to share to the camera. There's still, I still feel really awkward and there's going to be a lot of weird cuts and cutting out a lot of parts of this video. <laughs> so thank you for watching and being a part of this. <laughs> All right, much love to all of you. Mwah.
Perhaps the reason I love the ocean so much is that it reminds me so much of life, unpredictable and ever-changing. Sometimes it feels smooth and easy and peaceful. And then, just as swiftly, it can transform into turbulence, pushing us to our limits. But despite the calm or the chaos, in the end, Life's beauty remains constant. The ocean is my reminder to that, to keep my eyes open to that beauty, to not fight the chaos, but to flow with it. And perhaps to even be surprised by the innate splendor of it all. With that, dear viewer, I hope you can take some of this beauty with you into your day, wherever you are. I'm sending you so much love and peaceful energy, and until next time, thank you for being here.